Good morning. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. May God's peace and prayer blessings be upon all of you. Welcome to today's ISB Atlanta Ramadan Inspiration. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside today, alhamdulillah. And we are very honored to have uh, Imam Mansour Sabri, the director of Iman Atlanta, the Inner City Muslim Action Network. Uh, our uh, beloved uh, Imam, leader, activist, scholar, family man. And um, he is going to share with us today his wisdom, some inspirations concerning Ramadan and it being an inward and outward struggle. So Imam Mansur. Alhamdulillah. Bismillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum, everyone, and, and blessed Ramadan. Uh, we're, we're, we're way past the halfway mark and beginning to enter into the last 10 days of Ramadan. And the message that I wanted to share today, just briefly here, uh, is around this inward and outward battle that we're striving to attain in this blessed month. You know, the Quran teaches us about Ramadan um, that it was revealed to us as it was revealed to those before us that we may learn a sense of, of deep consciousness, consciousness of God, taqwa. Uh, and that it tells us that Ramadan is given to us as a strengthening tool um, to really build a life that's meaningful, that's purposeful, um, that is uh, without the fluff and the distractions. And so in this, in this time, um, I believe that we are given an opportunity to see our lives, to see our um, purpose in the clearest light. Our hearts are lightened, our sensitivities are sharpened, and we're able to see what we're looking for and with the guidance uh, of our creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's that, it's that sacred time that I, I, I talk about often that you can 10X your positive impact. You can increase the way in which you um, um, exist in the world during the blessed month of Ramadan. And we get what we believe. We get what we put our trust in. Uh, and as we trust in this blessed month of Ramadan to be a launch pad for our lives, a true renewal, we'll see new results. My heart is heavy in this moment uh, as an activist and as a, um, as an, as a, leader of an organization that, that really focuses on community organizing because of what has happened, the tragic killing of a young man here in Georgia, uh, Ahmad Avery. And so for so many in Georgia, we want answers. We want to see um, our, our state, our country, our world change to not have incidents like this happen where a young man or any person uh, goes out for a jog and it ends their life and for this particular family, and we're just celebrating Mother's Day, um, to have that be the lasting memory of your son or your child going out for a casual, uh, healthy jog and not returning home uh, alive. So we, we've, we felt this pain, and we felt this pain uh, in the African-American community. We felt this pain in the Muslim community. We felt this pain in all communities of consciousness to see change in our society. And I think about it during this month as a way for us to have a sense of balance. We're in this uh, tranquil moment of inward fighting, fighting our own demons and battling our own shortcomings in the month of Ramadan. But I'm reminded of the Battle of Badr where the companions had to do this outward struggle and they had to do it during the month of Ramadan. That when we see, uh, uh, the opportunity to make change with our, 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 our the strength of our minds, our, our bodies, to be on the front line to support truth, justice, right guidance, balance in our society, then we have to do it no matter what time it is. And we should see that the blessed month of Ramadan is a greater time to stand up for our true uh, beliefs and our conviction to be for justice and justice for all. So it's been, a, it's been a, a powerful two weeks as this video has surfaced. We know that it was two months ago that this incident happened. The um, alleged killers have not been, had not been arrested until last Thursday. The push that we put out 
as a organization and a community was to get this in the right um, uh, status that they were arrested and that the community can hear the truth and be a part of uh, our judicial system to bring justice to this incident. But it doesn't stop there. And we know that the, the bigger issues around racism, the bigger issues around inequities in our society and community has to be addressed by level uh, headed, conscious, God conscious people who, who see when wrong happens, we stand up against it, even if it's against our own selves. And so the blessed month is a month for struggle. And this is a big struggle for our society and a big struggle uh, within our communities. But we have the wherewithal to really address it and go forward with it if we see our faith as a faith that strengthens us to be prepared for difficult moments like this. I asked you, as I asked myself, to use this blessed month to have an inward strength of finding our best selves and an outward strength for standing for truth and justice wherever, uh, wherever we are and wherever we can support it. So with that, I greet you all with the Ramadan greetings of peace, Ramadan Mubarak, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wow, Imam Mansour, thank you. Alhamdulillah, all praises are due to God. Thank you for those very powerful words and the instructive reminder. As you said, Ramadan is a sacred time. And it's a time, as you said, to build our inner strength in order that we might stand up for the right and stand up for the good and the truth in the outer society. And as you said, to stand up for justice whenever injustice occurs. And this is the month for that. The month that you said where you 10 times the blessings. This is the good multiplier month. So we thank you. We ask, urge folks to support Iman Atlanta. Um, please check them out, check out the website, the programs, because they're doing tremendous and powerful work for positive change here in Atlanta and beyond. And we also ask you to please uh, uh, look at our, the YouTube channel for ISP Atlanta. Uh, we have the uh, daily uh, reflections and inspirations on that channel. And if you like our work of building bridges, then please support us. Thank you. May the rest of your day be wonderful and good, and good luck in the struggle, the inner and the outer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. May the peace and mercy of God be upon you. Amen. Wa alaikum salam.